In order to use Drush, you first need to install it. So we're going to go through the installing process for a Mac here. I'm going to do a Google search for Drush, and I'm going to click on the topmost link, which is on Drupal.org. I'm going to scroll down here, and we can download versions for 4 or 5. Now the latest version of Drush is 5, so let's go ahead and download that. Once it's downloaded, go ahead and unpack it. And we're going to take this whole folder and put it in some permanent place on our hard drive. Normally we might put this in a bin folder, but for now we're just going to put it in the root of our hard drive. So I'm going to go ahead and copy it, and I'm going to navigate to the hard drive, and I'm going to go ahead and paste it in. Okay, so now we have Drush in the root of our hard drive. So now we need to specify our terminal or our command line to create an alias for this. So instead of pointing to the Drush script, which is within the Drush folder right here, every time we want to run Drush, we can instead type just Drush on the command line in order to invoke the command. So we simply need to create an alias in one of the files that runs before a terminal or a command line session is started. So one of these files is the bash rc file, which resides in our home directory. So if we jump to the command line, and we go ahead and do a cd and then a tilde, that will take us to our root directory. And if you do a pwd, you'll see where this is in the hard drive. Let's go ahead and navigate to that. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Chris Shattuck. And then you see here in the hidden files is bash rc. It begins with a dot. And we can open this up by double clicking it. So right now I just have a single line here. So I'm going to create a new line. And what this line is, is it specifies an alias. So whenever we type drush on the command line, it will replace that with slash drush, which is pointing to the root hard drive, and then drush, the actual command line utility. I'm going to go ahead and save this. And now at this point, in order to get Drush to function, you may need to restart your terminal or run a source command. The source command can be done this way. I'm going to jump back to the command line here. And what we're doing is just doing source and then pointing to the bash rc file, which again is in our user directory, which is tilde slash dot bash rc. I'm going to hit enter. Okay. Now, if we type Drush, we see a whole set of information here. These are all of the commands that are available to us in Drush, and this lets us know that Drush is installed and that we can access it by simply using the Drush command.